Hello. My name is Angela, and I um I wanted to take a little time out um, to talk about. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions, um, and people always talking about um, spiritual warfare, and so I just wanted to um, share a verse with you that can help us understand what we're going through on our jobs and even in our families and um, um, in the world, what's going on. Spiritual warfare, um, the, the, the Satan is at war with God and Satan understands that he cannot defeat God. He can't even fight against God. So what he does, he fights God's people. And so that that you are experiencing on your job is called spiritual warfare. Um, Ephesians 6 and 12 will help you understand what you're dealing with on your, on your job. Um, Ephesians 6 and 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Um, so what does that say to you? Okay, I'm going to say it again. Ephesians 6 and 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, this is where you know that you're not, when the, on your job, when your boss is picking on you, you got to understand what God is telling you. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Flesh. If you put a hole in me right here, blood will come out. So you don't wrestle against me. You don't wrestle against your boss. You don't wrestle against your children. You don't wrestle against all these people that you said are your enemies. It's principalities that you're wrestling with. With. Now, I know that you see your boss face, you see my face, you see, but the Bible says that you don't wrestle with me. You don't wrestle with Angela Hampton. You don't wrestle with Vicki Bolden. You don't wrestle with Tammy McCall. Those are my sisters. <laughs> you don't wrestle with them. You're wrestling against the spiritual realm which there is a good spiritual realm and there's an evil spiritual realm. That that wants to take you out is evil. And so what Satan does, demons, they have to attach themselves to a human to become legal. Otherwise, they can't operate. So what they do is they, 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 they attach themselves to your boss, to your, your mom, to whoever's in your environment that Satan can use to get to you. So again, the Bible tells you, you do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So the next time you go to work and your boss is giving you a hard time, you just remember Ephesians 6 and 12. And then you drop your head and start praying because that means something demonic is on your boss or it's on your mom, or it's on your husband, something demonic. And prayer, you pray some Jesus on that person. You pray and you pray until that devil flee. So understand that you don't wrestle against what you see. You're wrestling against what you can't see. Okay, so if you understand that, then that makes you able to complete the journey that you're on. It makes you go on and be able to, to live this Christian life and understand spiritual warfare. That fight is between Satan and God. God has already won. Satan knows that, but he's going to try to take as many of us with him as he can. And so once you understand scripture, you understand the word of God, then you'll know that the word of God, of God is your weapon and that would defeat the devil. And remember this, if you're saved, Satan cannot possess you. 
Satan can influence you. Satan only possesses those who are unsaved. So if you're hearing my voice and you're not saved, this is a good day to, to get to know the Lord because the devil time is running out and he's looking to see who he can destroy, who he can kill because he's right now, he's on a leash and right now he's trying to pull people his way because he know his time is running out. But I'm telling you the great one, the great one that lives inside of us, He's greater. He can keep Satan off for you. But you've got to know the word of God. And you got to understand Ephesians 6 and 12. And you got to understand um, the scripture that says, Greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. But I like to say, Greater is he that is in you than he who is after you. Because the great one is inside of you. And so this should help you on your job. So tomorrow, when you go to work and your boss is after you, then you know it's not your boss because you're not wrestling with flesh and blood. You're wrestling with, against powers and principalities. And so that means evilness, Satan, demonic spirits. That's what you're wrestling with. So I wish each and every one of you a good day. And it was great talking to you. And i like to say again, thank you all for being a part of our ministry. And I love you. I love you. I love you. And remember Ephesians 6 and 12. That that you see in front of you is something more to the story. So don't get all out, been out of shape. It's demonic. And the only way that you can fight demonic is to work with the word of God. Love you.